doing a, a test run on this uh, burner module, the 5 kilowatt. It has the old style controller. Um, this uh, a season or ago, um, the cover got blown off uh, the enclosure. I had the whole thing in with a storm, and the rain came and it zapped the controller. Um, lucky enough, I had a spare module. I put that in. A month or so later, I got a new controller from uh, China. So now I'm just trying it all back out again. Two hertz. About a meter away. Now these are one of these pumps, not the original pump, these are one of these pumps that have actually got markings on them. Whereas the ones that have no marking on them seem to be a lot noisier. So whether that's a better quality pump, that's not the original pump I had. Original pump failed. That's uh, setting for the pump now just on its own again, the fan. This will pick it up different, I don't know. Pump with cover on. More noise coming from the fan then. And there we From stroke two, I find that the pump is more noisy when the um, the hertz is down lower than when it's up higher, so I have to go right up to the case, my ear to sort of hear the pump, maybe it'll come up better now with the uh, the volume on the uh, recorder, but I stick, I go a metre away. Now I'm going to try and put in some of this insulation, I think it's sheep's wool insulation and see what happens with that. Right, now we have the sheep's wool insulation in and we're still at the 2 hertz. And again all I can hear is the fan. They have to go very close to hear the pump but I'll go right up again this will pick it up and I'll go a meter away I don't hear it now I'll uh, bring her up um, we're up at four now I'll stay a meter back I can hear the fan Good. This is one of these um, enclosures if you have um, electrical cables out in the outside and say lights or whatever you're doing outside and you want, want to keep the, uh, the connections or the sockets or the plugs uh, sort of weatherproof you can buy one of these. This I think it's a larger size. It uh, closes up and it's sort of weatherproof and uh, you could run the fuel line and your electrics to the pump in there and keep the electrics waterproof. Uh, I have used that before when um, I had a separate tank for the three and one outside. I fitted a 15 litre because I was fed up of fit filling the small one and the 15 litre just meant once a week I was topping it up. But the pump inside in the, the metal enclosure I found that the sound was travelling up the ducting so the ventilation coming into the room you could hear the pump it's like an echo chamber so I moved the pump outside um, of the unit and to keep more so the electrical connection at uh, waterproof I bought this I think I got it on Amazon 
They're different sizes. I don't think there's a size on that. Um, I found it great. I just it was a bit of a bit of fun there. I said I would just try it to see does it deaden the sound of the pump. And I think it does. And uh, now whether you put that insulation in there or not, whether the pump has a bit of heat and. But I had this for the winter now, the pump was inside that without any insulation. Uh, walked away grand. Um, so that could be, pump could be in there, a couple of tie wraps extra, even though it's quite secure with those cl clips. And even if you want it under a camper van or whatever, you could just put a few more tie wraps and tie it up and it's weatherproof. I like this controller. One of the reasons I do like it, of course, you can go in and, and see what the settings are, but you've also got a decimal point. Um, you look at voltage there now, you have a decimal point. With the new ones, all you're getting is 11, 12, 13. But I mean, if you see 12 for a battery, uh, for a lead acid or deep cycle, you'll say that's a flat battery. Whereas if you saw 12.6, 12.8, you say, yeah, that battery's good. So, of course, you can bring it up in there. Uh, you can go 2.2, uh, 2.4. You can bring it up in, in better um, graduations rather than this one H1 to H6. Now, that H1, I find the new controller, is not what I would call uh, one H1 on these type of controller, one hertz. A one pulse um, because uh, I find that, that when I have the controller H1 I'm actually using and consuming at that. Uh, whereas if I do the calculations at a 0 0.022 pump um, over six hours at H1 um, it should come out 475 milliliters, allow a little bit for start up and I, I do put up for about five minutes on high for shutting down. We'll round it up to 500 milliliters, half a liter. Actual fact I'm using approximately um, one liter. So that's twice and I would regard that's what this one will be using on uh, two pulses. So that's it, she's walking away now. I've had her running for about an hour. Happy with that now to go in as a standby for the winter.